In this video, I am going to give you a basic tutorial of how to install your Stream Deck and set it all up. This is for people that are very new to the Stream Deck for the first time and are struggling to figure out how to get it up and running. So this is for beginners. If you need a more advanced video, let me know in the comments below and I will try and do another video depending on what your comments are. And also, if you do like this video, consider giving me the thumbs up. It does help the algorithms. And also consider subscribing because it helps the channel. So with that, let's get on with it. So I'm guessing you've plugged it in and you're thinking, now what? Well, you need to download a bit of software. I will stick a link in the video description. So you can just click on that or you can do a search. It's up to you. But the link will be there. So hopefully you come to this page. And what you need to do, quite simple, you need to select what stream deck you have. I have the extra large one. But it's a drop down menu, you will have to scroll down until you find it. So this is my Stream Deck Extra Large, so click on that. And I am using Windows, but if you've got a Mac, you can download software for the Mac. Click on the Windows and click Download. And it will ask you to subscribe. You don't need to subscribe. I have, but not on this computer. But I have already set up a subscription anyway. And continue with download click on that it will download it wait till it's downloading it literally takes seconds right click to open click on open i'm going to minimize this so you got so you can see it better clearer click on next make sure you accept all the terms and conditions click next click next i'm putting it straight on my c drive but if you want to go anywhere else you've just got to change it there but i'm putting it on my c drive click next Again, takes literally seconds to install. It's very fast and very efficient. And that is it. Now I've got a little icon up here. Let me just click on close or finish. That pops up automatically, but there is a little shortcut icon here in case uh, you wonder where it is. Also, if I close this, it's not actually closed. It's actually sitting down in the bottom right hand corner. I'll get this little arrow up. It's there, that one there, see it? So it doesn't close it. Now the thing I liked about this, it's basically a computer. So basically what you've done is plugged in a computer into a computer. So you have, well we have the Stream Deck Extra Large, but should you have more than one plugged in at the same time, it should come up here somewhere to show you you've got more than one. We've only got the one. Now. You can download profiles, and what I mean by that, if you set, set your Stream Deck up and you want to transfer all that information to another computer, you can export your profile and voila, plug it into that one. Job done. So you just keep putting it all back in again. So you can export, and also you can set up multiple profiles and you can name them whatever you want to name them. I'm just going to leave it at the default one because this is basically a tutorial. Now this will take you to the website where you will get all your icons from. You don't have to use all their icons. There are other places you can get, but we are just doing a tutorial on the basics. So we will get some of them in a minute. And a cog, this cog here will be your general, your account. I haven't got an account set up on this computer and profiles, like I said earlier. And you can export, import, whatever, plus, minus, there you go, all down there for you. Rename it, whatever you want to do. We're going to leave that alone because we don't really want to mess about with anything like that. Now the brightness level on here is, I never touch it. It seems to be set up perfectly. Like whatever they've done, they've done a really good job of setting it up perfectly. So I'm just going to leave that alone. And that is it. So them two will be, well that one we will be doing in a second. That one with what I just showed you. Now this on the right, there's all the attachments that come with it, and all you need to do is, is drag and drop. Say, for instance, you want a, the sound bar, yeah, or sound board. Say, play audio, you can left click, drag that over, drop it, and then all you need to do is find out where your audio is, and now I'm gonna click down here, because I've already got some saved. 
Now I've got two, lightning and strong storm wind. So I'm gonna click on that one, click on that. Now if you can't find it, obviously you can do a search. See, I've got quick access, but you can go PC, click on whatever drive it is, and look for it. But we're going for the quick access bit because we know where it is. Click on there, and it makes it life easier. Now, as you know it works. Uh, if I press the actual icon on Stream Deck, Uh, good sound effect, it works just by pressing the button. Now if you want to stop it, just press the button again, it will stop instantly. Now say you want to add another one, another sound effect, because we had two on there. I'm going to show you how to get them in a minute, don't worry. If you right click and then copy and then left click down there and then paste, that's on there. Now if you click down here and we go to the lightning one and add that, press open, now that one is a different sound effect. So we've got that sound effect. And we've added the wrong one. <laughs> Let me change that. I thought that was that one. Let's try it again. I oh, won't see it. So even I get it wrong sometimes. Now the thing is, there's a... Let me stop that. You can actually play both at the same time. It doesn't matter, you, you can do loads and just mix them all in. Now, you can change this picture. If you don't like that picture, you can just change it. All you need to do again is right click, create a new icon. Now, if you create a new icon, it will take you to the website. and quickly show you. And this is where you can make your own icons. Yes, you can actually make your own. We're not gonna be doing that in this video, but if you've downloaded any and you want to add them, you can just right click and set from file. So say for instance, you've got a nice little picture you want to add to it, highlight it and click open and it will add it to there. Very easy to do, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. If you click the plus button, it will bring up these icons so you can change them. And there's quite a few there but not as many as what there is actually online or, you know, on the internet or actually on the website. But it gives you a good idea of where to get them. You can change the title. You can remove the title if you want. Like so. So it just says strong or just call, call it, I don't know, wind. So wind. It said the wind works. And it changes it straight away onto the actual stream deck. Yes. Stop that. Right, easy peasy lemon squeezy so far. And that's just on the sound board. So I'm gonna quickly show you down the list. So we have multi, multi actions, and that means you could do more than one thing. Navigation, so it will take you know, to a web page and you can change over to another web page, things like that. All different sort of things. Sound board, which we just had a little play about. Stream deck. You can put in a timer, brightness, sleep, put them on and you can adjust them. Let's have a quick go, or something like that. I'm not going to give it a title. Let's see what happens. Uh, nothing, because it just says brightness. So you can actually make it darker, brighter, maximise, high, medium, at low and minimum. We're going to uh, we're going to leave it alone because I've just made it brighter. But it doesn't look like it. Oh, actually it does. Let me uh, go back to darker. Yeah, it does work. Yeah. Right, if we move that, delete. Yeah. Easy peasy so far. Right, this baby up here, it's quite good. Click on that. You will get this in. So we have plugins, icons, music, and sound effects. So if we go to icons, because I quite like the icons. We have, let's see if I can get you a really nice, simple one to get you going. What's this? Don't even know what that says. Various objects from Twitters. Okay. After Effects icon pack. Oh, After Effects. So we try that one. So all you do is click on install. Click again. Give it a few seconds to install. That was fast. And all you've got to do now is find it. I'm going to do some music first because it can be a little bit confusing to find it. So if we go to music, or actually it's two sound effects, and there's a great big list of sound effects. That just goes on forever and ever. 
Beach Ambience. Let's have a listen while it's downloading. Yeah, yeah, that sounds pretty good. So that's downloading, that's quite a long download and it plays for three minutes. Right, so that's downloaded and now all you've got to do is find it. Let me close that for a second. So soundbar, let's go back to soundbar because it should be part of the soundbar. So we want it to play. So left click, hold, drop in now. And now we need to find it. Click on here. It should be quite easy to find. Beach ambient, that baby there. Click or highlight it and then click open. That is done. It's already got itself a title. I'm just going to change that to beach. Now, if you don't want the words to be there and you just want a picture, if you just delete the word beach, like so, you can just change it to a beach picture and just have a picture there. You don't need to put a title in there. And let's see if she works, shall we? So we're, we're standing by a beach and all of a sudden, the wind's getting up. And all of a sudden, it's thunderstorm. What's going on? Let me just stop all them effects. <laughs> See, very easy. Now, if you want to put something else on, like CPU, I've already downloaded this, but just in case you want to download it, we'll go and find it up here. We'll go back up here. Go to plugins. Let's have a look around, shall we? So it should be on here somewhere. CPU, there she is. So I've already installed it. So you'd have to install it. So I've got the option to uninstall it, but we've already done it. Once it's downloaded, again, all you need to do is drag over, drop it in, and now it's showing you your CPU running. And it's running about 35 to 40, depending on how much I move this about. Yeah, see that? So that's your CPU, easy, yeah? Now, should you want to do layers, say you want a, a folder and it's dedicated to say, like, put all your music in. Yeah? Good idea, yeah? So let's make a folder. Right, so you need navigation. So we're going to go to navigation, create a folder, drop it wherever you want. I'm going to top right. I'm going to drop it in there, give it a title. Let's call it music. Music folder, yeah? Music folder. Right, doesn't fit in. Right, something else you might want to find out. Doesn't fit in, does it, yeah? What you can do, drop down this little bar here, and you can move it. So at the moment it's bottom. You can move it to the middle. You can move it to the top. We're going to have it on bottom, but we're going to change the size. At the moment it's set on nine. Music folder. That's set on six. And you can change the colour. We're going to have a nice red. Music folder is now set. What else can we do? Right, we can change the font. I'm going to go for an aerial black music folder. It looks really good. Show title. If you don't want to show title, click on that. Finish. Yeah, easy. Change the picture, which I will do at a later stage. Uh, but that is it for now. Now, let's move the music into the folder. Now then, there are two ways we can move it. One, if we can right click and move to folder, but that will make another folder. We don't want to make another folder. What we want to do is put it in that folder. So what you need to do is right click, copy, open the folder, I'm going to drop it down there, paste. Now, I don't know if there's an easier way. There probably is, but I don't know if there is. This is how I'm doing it. doesn't take too long, either. Paste. One more to go, wouldn't it? Where's the other one? There she is. So, copy. Paste. Easy enough, and they should still work. Yes. And they do work. Now, to get back out the folder, there's a little arrow key. There's something to bear in mind, which I found out a few years ago, that should you fill all these icons up and you delete this one, you can't get back out. 
So think about it, okay, be careful. I don't know if they fixed that, but I, I noticed it a few years ago. I've accidentally filled everything up and deleted that one. And I thought, well, how did I get out of the folder? <laughs> I can't remember how I got out, but I got out. <laughs> so yeah, easy, so all you gotta do now, you can delete these, because they're in that folder. Job done. Again, like I said, there are several things you can do. If you've got something like OBS Studios, you can start it up by setting this up and it will just press of a button, it will load it up for you. My Streamlabs does that automatically when I press a button on the, on the actual Stream Deck, it just loads it up. Recording, you can use Twitch Studios, set all your Twitch Studios up. But it can get quite complicated, especially if you've got something like Streamlabs or OBS and you want it to swap pages or screens, things like that. You will have to do shortcuts. Now, you don't do the shortcuts actually on there, on your Stream Deck. You do it, let me quickly show you. You do it on here. Let me quickly show you what I'm talking about. So you go into here and you want hotkeys. Now, in here, you will have to set up all your hotkeys. I'm not going to show you that, that in this video because it can get quite complicated. Right, now then, let's say, for instance, you want to play a bit of music. We're going to do the free music because it's free and I won't get hit with a copyright, will I? So music, again, we need to go back up here, go to the music studio part, and there's quite a big list here, so I'm going to have a quick listen. This one down here. Don't like that one, stop that. No. Too loud. Oh no, 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 no. What about this one? Yeah, I like that one. Go for that one. Download. So click on download, give it a few seconds. And she's done, close that. Now we need to find it, don't we? So go back to the soundbar and play audio. So I'm gonna stick that. Actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna stick it in there. I'm gonna stick it up there. Let's go and find it. Click on that and it should be that one there, shouldn't it? Open it, let's see if she works. Oh, so easy, huh? Really easy. So that is how you do your basic setting. Now there is more advanced stuff, but I'm gonna do that in a separate video because you know, it can get too complicated and you might just get fed up watching the video. So with that, I hope this helps you to at least get started and get some basic idea or overview on how to do things. So with that, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.